Okay, guys. Um, today it's um, it's September, the eighth. It's the eighth of September. So we're gonna be looking uh, at the dollar index and few pairs. Maybe <laughs> we're gonna be looking at few pairs. So <clears throat> we get to see that uh, the dollar index has really pushed up, um, and now it's approaching to where we were being waiting to anticipate a sell. Okay. So this is where we have been waiting. We have our transitional block here. So we get to see that price is closed now where we are supposed to be selling. So let me just put the price here. Put the price here. Or oh, even put this here, some of you. So this is where we expect to see price decline, okay? We're gonna be we're gonna see price decline from this level. So price is gonna decline from this level. So what we can do, our take profit, it's gonna be here on this previous high, okay? That was being broken. So we're gonna put our take profit here. So then it's up to you after that to continue to hold maybe to this level, maybe to this level. I'm not sure about that. I haven't looked at that, but um, what we can use as our main objective is our face take profit here. So when price get to this level, we're going to be selling. So if you want to hold, maybe you can use a bigger lot size to target some money here. And then after that, you leave the smaller lot size to continue. So you can do it in that way. So we get to see that uh, what once we see price getting here, we're gonna be having a lot of opportunity because this is the dollar index. We're gonna be having a lot of opportunities on GBP USD and Euro USD. Okay. So normally what we need to be doing is to wait for the dollar index to get to our significant level, which we are expecting. Okay. So our limit is gonna be on this price that we have here is 93.599 okay so this is where our sell limit is at the moment as i'm speaking with you this is where we put it so when price gets here we want to see price going down okay so what we're gonna be doing we go to another pair like euro usd let's look at euro usd this is our four hour time frame so we look at something that we can use as a point of reference also looking at the dollar index okay so we get to see that we have a transitional block here we have a transitional block here um we have a transitional block here okay so you want to put your buy limit at this level here Okay, so this is going to be a buy limit. Let me remove this so that it can be clear. So this is going to be this is going to be your, this is going to be your buy limit. So what we really need to see, we need to see price coming to this level. And when price get to this level, we're going to be buying. But here is the trick. Let's take Euro USD get to this level before the dollar index gets to this level here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna wait for the dollar index to also get to this level before we can be trading this level, okay? So if Euro USD get to this level before the dollar index get to, before the dollar index get to this level. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna leave that trade we need the dollar index to get here first that's when we can consider taking a trade here okay so that's how you can do it when it comes to because the dollar index it sort of gives you like um it filters out like uh which trading setups to take and which trading setups not to take okay so if you can see a reference point on the dollar index, be able to link it with another reference point that you see on the pair that you want to trade. So this is what we have here. This is our reference point on for our time frame. So we need to be looking for something that we can use on EURUSD as a reference point. So we're just gonna wait for the dollar index 
to get to our significant level and then that's when we can be anticipating a buy from here simple stuff like that we wait for the dollar index to get where it needs to be which is our level we wait for the dollar index to get here then we can be buy from here okay so basically that's what we are expecting all these um all this previous low that we see here we expect it to be taken up all this that we see here we expect price to actually just clean up this area here just clean up this area come down here and we get to see price going up okay so that's what we are expecting let's look at um what is it is it good let's look at our sp500 okay let's look at sp500 okay we are looking at um sp500 we get to see that our price declined here and if you look here we have something that we can use as a reference point okay so let's start backwards we have our um, we have our bearish breaker here cause price to go down and then price continue to go down so if you look here we have our previous high here we'll put this line here we have our pre previous high so the market will use this previous high as a point of reference okay it's gonna get to this level and we're gonna see some reaction here but what we gonna be looking for or where we're gonna be buying it's where we're gonna see our transitional block so what we can do we come here we get to see our transitional block here okay so this is our transitional block here let me fix this so that it becomes straight so as we have discussed uh, on the mentorship oh my god what am i doing okay Just like as we discussed uh, on the mentorship, we have a transitional block here. So price is gonna be, we're gonna be looking forward for price to use this as a reference point, okay? I'm gonna be looking for price to use this as a reference point, okay? So this is our reference point that we have. We want to see what price does when it gets here. We want to see price not staying in this level. It's a hot level. So we want to see price getting to this level and quickly move away okay so if i can go to maybe let's say um if you also look here we also have another reference point that we need to be taking into consideration we have our transitional block here if you look here we have a transitional block here okay so this is another reference point that we have so so we can get to say this is our two significant level that we're gonna be looking at, okay? So let me just put uh, the price so that it will be clear for you to see. So these are the reference point that you need to mark or the reference level that you need to mark, okay? So this is where we're gonna be looking forward to buy or we're gonna be looking forward for price to buy, okay? Or to go up. So this is what we are expecting. First, this is our main targeted area for price for price to go up and also these are second targeted area for price to go up so yeah i believe uh we are done with this one let me go and check nasdaq if there is anything that we can use as a point of reference and if you look on nasdaq also there is something that we can use as a point of reference which is our transitional block here we can use this as a point of reference you see so this is our first point of reference. So since uh, we have our point of reference, what we're gonna be looking for for it's price to get to this level on NASDAQ also. And also we have a transitional block here. You see here, we have a transitional block, there it is. 
and then we are expecting price to go up from here okay so this is what uh, we're going to be looking at so this is what we're going to be looking at looking forward to be buying at this area here okay so you just wait for price to get to this level and price confirm to be going up okay so um let me let me also put the price level so that you can be able to see those levels so these are the levels that we gonna be looking at these are the levels that we gonna be looking at okay these are the levels that we're gonna be looking at so guys for those of you who are new in the mentorship if you have not watched all the videos and you don't understand some of the things that i'm talking about here because this is not an educational video this is me just going throughout the setups that we are expecting for this week so what you can simply do just continue watch all the videos be patient with yourself watch all the videos and then after watching all the videos you can request one-on-one -on -one and then we get to have a zoom meeting and then i clarify everything that i need to clarify okay but as for this this is not uh, some teaching stuff i'm not teaching you anything okay this is just me sharing what i think will happen based on the knowledge which i've provided so let's wait and see what price will do okay shalom